Hello. Um, I was considering something uh, the past two days. Um, the concept of scholastic philosophers and the Big Bang. Um, basically, scholastic philosophers and the Big Bang. Is modern science stuck in the 13th century? Or is it like crap? <laughs> um, basically, um, I've been reading about the scholastic philosophers in the 12th and 13th centuries. The debates over faith versus reason were in the forefront then, as they continue to be today. The Muslim philosopher Severus held that the universe is eternal. Thomas Aquinas, uh, writing to defend the Christianity against Averism, argued that the universe was created in time out of nothing. Other philosophers attempted to prove the existence of God by reason alone as a defense against unbelievers, as some still do today, um, basically as creation science. Quoting Durant, quote unquote, however Aquinas conceded that the argument offered by the theologians for creation in time are weak and should be rejected, lest the Catholic faith should seem to be founded on empty reasoning. End quote. Thomas concludes that we must believe in faith in a creation in time, but he adds that the question has little meaning since time had no existence before creation, uh, because without change, without matter in motion, there is no time. End quote. This um, struck me as not being inconsistent with Einstein's relativity, which launched our modern discussion about space and time. Indeed, modern science brings space and time into an equivalency. Today's theory of the Big Bang almost brings us back to the scholastic notion of primary cause. Today's scientists offer nothing about nothing about uh, what happened before the Big Bang. I'm not saying that the scientists are standing at the edge of the best of faith, but to me, it seems that we all need to recognize that there will always be a limit to the knowledge and understanding. Um, I'm leery of anyone who claims certainty. Uh, Aquinas put it nicely when he said that, quote, the highest knowledge we can have of God in this life is to know that he is above all that we can think of concerning him, end quote. Likewise, scientists with all their ever larger atom smashers continue to pursue even smaller particles to make ever infinitesimal approaches to the moment of the Big Bang. The only thing that I know for certain is that there's a lot I don't know, and uh, you can take things too. Se you can take things too seriously, basically, because um, it makes you lose sight of the joys of life. Things like a baby crapping in its diaper, <laughs> or I don't know. Well, you get my point. What do you think?